What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a good day, great day, wherever you are in the world. As you see by the title, we're talking about another Kyrie, man. These are fire. I actually saw images of these not too long ago. Didn't know the release date. I believe the release date was a little bit later in the month. But with everything going on lately, these shoes have just been sporadically dropping, which I'm not mad at. Yet another Kyrie 7. I want to know your thoughts and opinions, of course, in the comment section below. Nothing different. Everything's the same with the box. Uh, color scheme is kind of different. It's black, black, and lime ice. But what do you guys think about this Kyrie 7? I think it's a really dope shoe. From a one to 10 scale straight off the box, I gotta give it a 10. Now that we have both shoes out the box, you know, we're gonna do some B-roll with these, up close and personal visuals as always. But let me dive into what I like about the shoe. So first you have this uh, pattern that looks like it might be 3M from a distance, but it's actually not. You know, Kyrie's have two layers on the upper part of the shoe, the mesh, and then there's a lining underneath the mesh, which really makes the shoe stand out when they do things like this. When I first saw these images, I honestly thought this was 3M under there, but it's just how the shoe is based. Then you have the grind, the Nike grind material on the fingers of the shoe, as well as the Nike swoosh. I think that's a dope detail, so they use some recycled materials with this. Medial side has that same grind material Nike swoosh right there. Not a bad shoe, kind of a stealth look with the all black, if you will. That's why it's more of my speed. The midsole is black. You got that blue that sticks out. To me, it looks like a varsity blue or like a deep royal blue. I don't know. I mean, I would feel like the lime ice is this lime color underneath, and this is just a royal blue, but they don't have it on the color code of the box, which is crazy. Oh, you know, other than that, I mean, the shoe, uh, it does stand out. That blue really, really pops off the shoe, as you guys can see. Then you have some extra design on the laces, which almost match the color tone of the grind material, which I think is a dope added touch they put to the shoe. There is no 3M on the shoe. I would have loved that to be the case, but this, the shoe is still dope all in all. Like I said, you have the grind material on the fingers. You also have it on both Nike swooshes on the prof uh, profile side and the medial side, as well as the, on the Kyrie logo which we will have some B-roll showing all of that stuff. Also a straight jet black, a uh, very stealth-like shoe. Everybody that's seen the images I've posted so far on IG have liked the shoe, really good positive feedback about them. I wanna know your thoughts and opinions on them. Uh, what about the shoe makes it or break it for you? If you guys went with a lace swap option, what would you guys do? I mean, the colorful combination on the lace already is dope and it goes with everything here but you know me i like to do lace swaps and a lot of you guys out there watching do too this blue to match would be fire for the laces i think that would be dope uh you could probably go with a, with an orange if you want to go with the small detail that's right here on the lace area where the all-seeing eye is uh but other than that i'm not sure what other color where you would want to put maybe you could put a vote green lace if you got something to kind of match that my my bet if i was to do in uh, a size uh, lace swap rather it would be truly a lace color the blue to match this would be dumb fire we're probably going to do that at some point too but give me your feedback on that as well bro these shoes are fire one to ten scale i'd give these a solid nine maybe eight and a half nine once I put them on, once I'm able to get my size 13, because unfortunately the size 13 went quickly. A lot of times when people see Kyrie's, they go for the bigger sizes because they do run snug. I saw these a little bit late. So I do have these in a the size 12. Maybe one of the members might want to scoop them. Or if you have a question about them, go ahead and DM me. Uh, but I will be getting these for myself once they do drop. I already said that, been looking for them, and I wish I was able to scoop that 13 because I want to try these on. But uh, you know, dope man. You got the Kyrie signature on the back of the heel. Materials all mesh, upper. Uh, nothing too different from other shoes besides the, the same, besides the colorway. So um, man, man, that kind of wraps it up for me. I want to know what you guys think. I'm excited to talk about another Kyrie. One to 10 scale, what do you guys think about them? How do you guys feel about the Kyrie 7 as a whole? The silhouette is definitely fire. A lot of dope colorways too. Some people are saying that they don't have as many dope colorways as they had in the past. Do you feel like that or do you feel like they've been keeping up with what they've been doing? And then we also get a glimpse of the Kyrie 8, which I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. It's your boy Bosco, man. I enjoy your company. Hit the like button. Watch the video all the way to the end. And leave comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Perfect. Perfect.